need to have our morning conversation. If you've been catching the news this weekend, you must have noticed what's going on in LD. There's a guy called Ambrose. Ambrose owns a company called Springmark Investments Limited. What he was doing was telling Eldred residents to invest with Springmark and he gives them a monthly return of 18% on the investment. Of course, he helped with at least a billion. Eh? Eh? People went and took loans, got their family members to give them the, all their savings. They took to this Ambrose guy. Now, the thing with this Ambrose guy, <laughs> he was very clever. Mm. Ambrose was going through the church. Mm. He goes, Pastor Nambia Watu, Natukona investment opportunity. Come out, wake up, say, Ako Hapo. And then they give Ambrose a chance to talk to the congregation. Aki. Hey. We are looking at a billion shillings lost. Where is Ambrose? No one knows. He's gone. Eldin Induru. Walienda kwa duka yake, ofisi yake wakapata wanauza bicycle. Aki Hey. I watched that story and I watched the destroyed lives, the trail of destruction. It was crazy. Now, his brother-in-law yeah. also started a company the same way and again took hundreds of millions of shillings. They are married to two sisters. And where are those guys? No one knows. If you're in LD, I need you to give me a call. Number one, Who's going to offer you 18% per month? Ata serikali yezi kupatia yu. Ah, eh. If you take all that money of Joho and take to the bank in cash, maybe you'll get 18% per mm. annum, per mm. year. Mm. What made you fall for it? What um, are you going to do now that Ambrose and his brain love disappeared? Uh, huh. And this clergy Me, who brought these con men. Oh, Nacheza, na getting rich quickly. Me nilikuwa hapo. <laughs> what did you do? Kama desi ya iku niuwa, mimi intaka for a very long time. <laughs> na nilianza na, na ita wata before Swiss Guard. Yo, hey. yine... uh, wish you were here. Uh, yeah? that, that one for holidays. For kwa iku inange. Apana. Eh. Hey. Kuna ingine ilikuwa hapo tunauza products za buhuni. GNLD. Kianga hii GNLD <laughs> ungeniona hapa ni mebeba tu bug. <laughs> Tua green hapa ni kuwa na acres of diamonds. <laughs> South Africa. Nasa hiyo zina kaketo. I'm just a sales representative. <laughs> <laughs> na ambiwa meet fellow billionaires. <laughs> na wanaletwa kia SEC na waona. <laughs> na najiona hapo. <laughs> I just need to get a couple of people. It's okay. Una yoyo kitu inaitu aje yoyo ya multi-level. It's been a pyramid, multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing. Yes. Mbaka ni so connecting. everyone below you, you make money from them. Exactly. We had to go in it from mountain eagles. And Mi, <laughs> mountain eagles. Yeah. <laughs> Mimi sasa hata ndiyo hiyo eagle. Wachana na mountain. Mimi ndiyo hiyo eagle. Uh, <laughs> we. Mali lishia vile ofisi lifanyika I have no idea. <laughs> na bado nikajipata Swiss guard hata mimi nilirogo. I don't know who be with me. And I don't know uh, after GNLD you get a Swiss guard. Nilikuwa Swiss guard <laughs> direct because already niko na experience. Ndi. Oh I don't know nini nilikuwa inanifanya nione nitakuwa na pesa haraka hivyo. <laughs> and I was a young man. Wa eh? hiyo pesa. <laughs> Maana wajua nilikuwa najiuliza nitakuwa na pack jet wapi machakos. Hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa shida yangu. Shida yangu si kununua, nitakuwa nikipack wapi hiyo shagu. Mbaka alikuwa anaona vile nitahamisha relatives. Vile just na nijenge ni wajenge. Eh? Si ndio mimi huyu bado hapa. Ai Mungu ni mwema. Na bado nikaingia desi. Ah. I want to know what happened. If you in LD, what made you think anyone can give you 18% in interest per month?
Nelson Bugwa bado uko Forever Living kuna ingine inaitwa Forever Living for products for beauty products yeah, my brother na is a man aliingia hiyo Forever Living <laughs> umeona aki convince <laughs> ladies wanunue eh? i want to hear from you what made you do it see and what are you going to do now that Ambrose and his brother in love disappeared hey. Maybe that's the question i've gotten for you I have no idea. Why don't you give me a call on 0711? You know, and which church is this that's involved? Well, no, Maina, you've never been convinced where we mpaka unaona pesa. You know, you don't, don't blame those victims, eh? There is a way, Uyo Ambrose, I'm sure, vila na ngeaga. Unaona wendi uja, uja ingia? Na kwani unaitaji how much? Upate 18%, 10,000. Unapambana, 100,000, unapambana. Who is watching people who give 5 million? Yeah. 10 million. Eh, unajua na kupigia sasa 18% ya hiyo 5 million. Pa year? Pa month? Pa month. Sasa unapiga times 12. Havu hiyo tama yako inakuambia times 5 years. Ah, yu kumeisha wewe. 0711 oh. is my number. Give me a call. That? Hit me up on X at Classic 105 Kenya. Or oh, at it's my neck again. Please yeah, don't forget know. the hashtag is my neck again. You know they sell for you hope. 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 Eldoret, what happened? <laughs> Talk to me. So we are talking about this new scam in LD. More than a billion shillings was skimmed out. Creamed off the top by this guy called Ambrose. This company is called Springmax. Springmark Investments. I'm trying to wonder, nini nini? And they came through the church. Me, that's my problem. What will me me a LD? Edson Aguata saying nothing comes easy. Such scammers manage to scam people because of people's desperation to make quick wealth, and it's so so sad. What is your story? The promise was a reward of 18% in interest per month. In a year? What is 180 plus 36? You're going to get 220 something percent per year. Really? Explain this to me because I can't get it. If you've got a testimony, I want to hear from you. Hello? Uko salama? Niko poa kabisa. Mwalimu wako fiti? Ambo chonjo. Bwana, nataka siku moja, tutangaze siku, siku, siku moja holiday. Eh. Hizi kanisa zote. Zifanyue msasa mata zifungwe, tuanze upia. Eh. Uh -huh. Hakuna kanisa nye nafanya kazi hapa. You see, one of my relatives, the blind guy, I don't know if why you had the... Yes, I, I, I heard about a blind guy who had given money. A, a teacher. Yeah, 1.2 million. 1.2, yani, yani muna, muna osha, muna osha baka kipofu. Amuna, amuna uruma. So, yeah. so which churches were these that were involved? Nizi ka hii, kanisa yu niko hapa, tapa ilore, tapa kanisa, ziu na ito siu watu. Najua, that's my relative, ha? Eh? Yeah. Mimi, when they call us, when they told us there's a place you can invest, oh, you're given 18%. Honestly, I was, an, I was, I was in internship at the Post Bank of Kenya here. Yeah. I've never seen any bank that gives interest. Even a year, more than five percent. So when you when when your cousin told you this, why didn't, didn't you tell him that it's not going to happen? Tuliwa ambia, tuliwa ambia. So now just as a marelati, they see that una wadangani utaki wa grow. You get? Yes. Utaki wa grow. Wakanda kisi, wakanda na kinakuru, wakauza shamba, wakauza ngombe, wakasema hata to invest eighteen eighteen percent. That's good money per month. Yeah. Yes. See, the, the, the people who are surviving from the ignorance or. Uh, Foolishness of our people. Just because when you think they take advantage of you. So, Sai, he doesn't have anything. Actually, the pressure may panda. Sai, I'm going to have stress. Sai, I'm going to have to take care of him. Because honestly, that is so wrong. These churches, what they're doing, are just killing our people, one after the other. After politicians, Nane Nane Thursday, we are coming for these pastors. Okay. We must fix this country once and for all. Because at least we have to make things work. Okay, na kwa kanisa, 
ukiwaambia ukisikia nakwambia kwa Mungu wao akisema wanataka gari wanakuambia weka pesa really baina yeah hapana we are not going to work like this huyo pasta sasa hivi ametoroka by the way he's not around jana we took time to confirm he's not around amejificha and something that pains me much is that kuna pasta anapea mkubwa wa askari even on the higher levels up to IG so that they cannot be arrested if we go and complain they are arrested today kesho wameachiliwa is that really fair no my, my, my cousins are not going to attend uh, campus come september they are not going to school because pesa ya school fees ilikuwa imesaviwa ndio hiyo so what are we going to do maybe send an exam and up mku parkland law school that's why i needed to get my school fees from from my relative say what am i going to do i'm going to read the exam it's a very bitter morning maina and that gives us reason why nane nane we will be there no matter what have a good day so what's happening no what is happening what is your story talk to me so we are talking about these scammers in the uasingishu i'm trying to wonder who's going to give you 18% in interest and how people borrowed loans took money belonging to family it was a disaster proper problem That's the question I'm asking this morning. Hello. Good morning. Morning. How are you, Maina? I'm fine, thank you. I'm telling you the world you are living in. Eh. Is terrible. Eh. One day, eh. a guy called me. Yeah. I uh, asked me how I'm doing, he knew my name, he knew my job, what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm a supplier. Yeah. Then he told me eh. he has a he has somewhere he wants me to go and deliver some goods. Yeah. Uh, with a good margin. Yeah. So I organized myself. Yeah. <laughs> from Meldoret. Yeah. Took my lorry all the way to Busia. Yeah. Uh, on the way before I reached uh, Webuye. Yeah. He told me, uh, just uh, wait uh, for a few minutes. Yeah. The beans and uh, I supply cereal. Yeah. So he told me uh, the customs people have arrested him. Yeah. So he needs me to send him at least uh, 15,000 so that he clears. Yeah. And then I go and collect the goods. Yeah. Without suspecting. Yeah. Uh, I was so fortunate that I didn't have money in my account. Yeah. So I told him, uh, let me send you uh, 10,000. Yeah. Uh, and then make arrangements for the other amount of money. Yeah. Then something clicked and then I decided no. Before I, uh, after sending the 10,000, then I remembered, let me call someone who is in Busia. Yeah. Who I usually work with. Yeah. So that he can go in person and clear. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, it took the lady round and round yeah. without finding them at the custom center. Yeah. And that is when I knew. Meme <laughs> Oshwa. <laughs> yeah, they, they even, they, so they do their research about their victims. Very well. Very well. They called me by my two names. What? Uh, how are you doing? What, uh, how is Joe? I was eldered and I was like, okay, you are fine, you are doing good. And then he told me, uh, there is some things I need you to to come and pick at a good price. I yeah. remember at that time we were buying a bag of beans at, uh, at 2,500. Yeah. Then he told me we have a deal of 1,700. That's a very good deal. That's a very good deal. So I was like, only 15,000 for him to clear the border. That is, and I had already driven all the way from Meldoret to Kwambia <laughs> Dunia hii. Eh. Tumewashwa baka tumekia mzuri. Baka mumengara. Mumeoshwa baka mumengara. Tumengara mzuri sana. Baka siku hizi nikishika simu. Eh. Naangalia mara mbili. <laughs> you know, after the lady called the guy yeah. and telling him uh, he's at the border. Yeah. The, 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 the phone went off. And that was the last time I ever heard of him and uh, 
that number is is over until now. Amazing. Okay, thanks, Tambia, nani. thanks for your story. <laughs> Someone else has learned from it. Sawa. Yeah, thank you very much. Asante. Say hi to Mwalimu Uko Salama. Chonjo Kabsha. Hata wewe, I'm coming for you. I'll come and call you Kidogo. Hi. Hi, a trick. Have a good day. Aye, Have a asante. good day. Please learn all these tricks. And Eldred, there's no one who can give you 18% per month. No one. No one. Uh, I want you to close our discussion. First, as you're saying, from this coming story, I realized two things. Number one, Kenyans have got hungrier and hard-earned resources to invest. Number two, the government has terribly failed people in creating genuine structures for them to invest. We've got a problem. Third, yes, my camera is saying, LD, what to pesa? Remember the Finland scam? By the way, see it happened there. Do me a favor. No, LD, me, I've got nothing but love for you. There's no one anywhere who is going to offer you 18% in interest per month on any investment. If your bank cannot do it, no one can do it. Please do not touch these investors with a six-foot pole. Keep your money for your children and your family. Toshe kaini lutapata kwa bank ama treasury bonds. Na wati hapo. Tavadali. The church is involved. You know yourselves, understand police are investigating. We need to find out how these guys got into the church. Who did they collude with? Was the church aware of their intentions? Gotta get to the bottom of this. This can't keep happening. Finland is still so fresh in our minds. And then this. Ah, pana. 